Oh, mm, she's tart. What can I say? I feel very strongly about this product today. I'm gonna be showing you the new shades of the Merit Flush Balm. And this has actually been really great for me because I have two of the older shades and I love them. And they just kind of fell to the wayside, which is actually a mistake. It's a mistake of mine because this blush formula is gorgeous. I have been rocking this blush all week long and today I'm going to show you what I've been wearing underneath it because I feel like it really is a chef's kiss combo. So literally all I've been wearing is the MAC face and body. I am in the shade C1 and then setting it with my new MAC mineralized skin finish natural in the shade light plus. So that's nope Sorry, one more thing, my Glossier Stretch Concealers. So that is what I'm wearing for my base. I am going to be demoing three out of the four new shades. I did not get the shade Fox. A little bit of a mistake. I'm sure it's gorgeous. It just didn't really speak to me, but I'm sure I'll end up getting it and I'll be like, why the hell didn't I get this to begin with? And since I only have two cheeks, this is how much I love you guys. I'm gonna remove my makeup on one of the cheeks and go back and apply, and apply the third shade so you can see all the shades and how they apply. Oh my God, I forgot how plumping these Fenty Heat Gloss Bombs are. I have this shade Hot Chocolate on and my lips are just slowly growing. So quick rundown about this product. Again, this is the Merit Flush Balm. It is a cheek color and you can use it as a lip color as well. It is a cream tint that melts into your skin for lit from within color that stays flush all day. It is clean, vegan, cruelty free. Micro fine pigment powders provide a touch of color without covering up your natural skin texture. Lightweight blendable formula leaves a long lasting glow that's never heavy or cakey. Formulated without acne triggering ingredients vitamin E conditioned skin and made with 43% recycled plastic and ships in our signature packaging that is either recyclable, reusable, or compostable. We love you, Merit. This is an Allure Best of Beauty winner from 2022. So first I'm gonna go in with Persimmon. This video also doubles as a how to apply cream blush video. I have a lot of people ask me about how to work with cream products. So here you go. Again, reminder, I have the MAC face and body on, and then I have lightly powdered my face. So I am putting this on over a foundation and a powder. You can just go straight onto your cheek, which I guess I could do. I tend to like tap my finger into it to warm it up. So this again is persimmon. Oh my God. What the hell? Admittedly, I haven't played a lot with the other shades besides Stockholm. I actually watched two of my good friends apply these shades and I was like, I was angry, okay? I was filled with rage. Look at Persimmon, look how stunning that is. And this is a shade I feel like is going to scare a lot of people. They're gonna be like, oh no, 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 I can't wear that. Well, yes, you can. Yes, you can, because I would not think this is my shade either but look at how stunning that is. And this right here is a big old arm swatch of persimmon. So there it is on my arm, here it is on me. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really believe in shades that exist for just one season, but this is truly a gorgeous summer shade if I've ever seen one. Also wanna tell you this is described as a satin finish. So if you're a person who isn't into like Dewey McDewerson, you wanna tamp it down a little bit, I got you covered. You just set it with a little bit of powder. Blush is all about application. It really is. I have a lot of people write me and they're like, oh my God, my blush doesn't stay on. I'm this age and this is my skin tone, my, you know, my skin type and what do I do? I never have a problem with blush staying because I always double blush. So I will always put on a little bit more than I really need to. And it really is the secret to making your blush stay. I also highly recommend a setting spray. I don't talk a lot about setting sprays anymore, but those are very, very helpful in like making your blush last as well. Okay, now on the other cheeky cheek, I'm gonna go in with Après. Can you imagine if I literally said it like that every time? Would you want to reach through the screen and punch me in the face? As we can see, this is a stone cold Aspen cheek, Fjord cheek cold girl cheek, whatever, one of those. What the hell? So this is actually exactly what I want. I'm gonna show you a couple of the older shades I have and they're kind of like this, but 
it never got it quite right for me. So I'm really happy about this because the other two shades I have, which are Mood and Cheeky, are beautiful. But this to me is like a combination of both. Okay, so I know it looks like I still have blush on, but I don't. I just removed everything from my cheeks. It's just rosiness from the removal. And now I'm going to show you the piece to resistance, in my opinion which is Stockholm. But first I'm gonna actually put on my MAC face and body so you guys can see how I do that. Going with about that much of the MAC face and body. I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but the best way, or at least I heard, the best way to apply this is you want to rub this for about 15 to 20 seconds, I find, until it gets tacky. And that's when you want to apply it. So we're waiting, we're waiting for it to get tacky. Okay, it's tacky. And I do apply MAC face and body with my fingers because it's so sheer that I feel like when I put it on with the sponge, the sponge kind of soaks up some of the product that I feel like I actually need. So I do feel like this is the best way to apply it. Okay, but like, can we take a second for MAC face and body because look at that finish, look at that glur. Guys, look at that shade. This is like my favorite blush shade on my skin tone. It's just so fucking gorgeous and it looks like my skin. And I will say, I've seen this applied on people who have a deeper skin tone than I do. And it also looks gorgeous. I am so angry. I'm gonna flip every table in Manhattan, like no joke. Stockholm, you can have your way with me. Okay, and that is Stockholm right there. Look at how sheer baby pink perfection that is. Damn it, I forgot to use a brush. I got all caught up. I just wanna let you guys know, for the people out there who love using a tool, you can 1000% use a brush with this to apply as well, and it's perfection. Oh, and I wanted to swatch uh, a prey as well for you here. Damn! Okay, that might be the most satisfying arm swatch out of all three. Okay, guys, I know this was super quick and dirty, but I needed you to see these shades. Okay, so quickly I wanted to just pull out Mood. This is one of their older shades, and I believe it was the deepest shade out of the older ones compared to Apres. So that right there is Apres, and I think Mood is gonna be less pink. Yes, that's correct. That's Mood right there. Honestly, let's talk about the two of those together. That could be bomb. So the price of the blushes are $28 a pop, but Merit created a set of four mini versions of these. So you can get the four new shades in this adorable little box for $60. And let me tell you right now, how long is it going to take you to get through full size in one of these? I don't know, maybe a decade, maybe more. Nobody needs that much blush, okay? Like, honestly, I think it's smarter just to even get a mini size. So it's kind of like a win-win. You get all four of the new shades, you get them in smaller sizes, it's less money, like what more do you want? So I would suggest if you're into trying more than one of the blush shades, definitely go ahead and get that uh, set. Everything that's on my face, all the blushes, the MAC face and body, everything is linked down below in my description box. Those are affiliate links, and if you shop through my links, it just means I get a small commish, and it really helps out my channel. Damn! And my Pro Choice Beauty brand list can always be found on Instagram as a pinned post. Super easy to find. I know some people aren't on Instagram or don't want to get an Instagram account. That's okay. You can actually still go to my account on Instagram, screenshot that list, and never have anything to do with Instagram. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there, and cheers till next time. Bye! Mm. 